morning and welcome. You're watching the Comics FX Daily Outlook for Wednesday, April 29th. The euro rose 0.88% against the US dollar and closed out 1.0973. The greenback lost ground after the US consumer confidence unexpectedly slimed to 95.2 in April. The pair is expected to find support till 1.0889 and the fall three could take it to the next support level of 1.0808. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 1.1021 and the rise 3 could take it to the next resistance level of 1.1072. Trading shares in the euro today are expected to be determined by Germany's consumer price inflation data, scheduled in a few hours. Additionally, the US GDP data for the first quarter along with the FOMC rate decision, scheduled later today, would generate a lot of market attention. The British pound rose 0.72% against the US dollar and closed at 1.5337. Data release showed that the preliminary print on Britain's GDP growth came in at 0.3% below market expectations of a growth of 0.5% for the first three months of 2015, marking the slowest quarterly growth for two years and thus indicating that the nation has lost its ground momentum. The pair is expected to find support at 1.5227 and the fall three could take it to the next support level of 1.5115. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 1.5399 and the rise three could take it to the next resistance level of 1.5459. Amid no major economic releases in the UK today, investors will keep a close eye on the nation's market manufacturing PMI data, scheduled on Friday. The US dollar weakened 0.22% against the Japanese yen and closed at 118.83. The pair is expected to find support at 118.69 and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 118.52. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 119.09 and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 119.33. With no economic releases in Japan today to trigger trading in the currency pair, investors will focus on tomorrow's Bank of Japan's meeting as well as data on industrial production, inflation and employment later this week for more cues on the economy's performance for the first quarter. The Australian dollar strengthened 1.99% against the US dollar to close up 0.8013. Earlier this morning in China, Australia's biggest trading partner, data showed that Chinese Westpac MNI consumer sentiment slipped to a level of 111.10 in April. The pair is expected to find support at 0.7887 and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 0.7787. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 0.8057 and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 0.8128. The gold prices traded higher by 0.79% against the US dollar at 1211.30 per ounce. The pair is expected to find support at 1201.10 and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 1191.90. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 1217.20 and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1224.10. That was it for today. Make sure you check out our new affiliate program. As an IB, you will not only be maximizing your growth potential, but you will also enhance your client network. The Comics FX Introducing Broker program is one of the most rewarding in the Forex industry. Stay in the know by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and Instagram, circling us on Google+, and of course, subscribing to our YouTube and Comics FX TV channels. Have a great trading day!